Meet Sam and Barry, two warehouse team members that will help demonstrate the benefits of using team services. In this scenario, Sam's shift is ending, but he has not completed scan inventory in his section. Barry has just started his shift and offers to finish Sam's section. Sam, in just a few keystrokes and under 60 seconds, can transfer his session to Barry's device. Now let's see how the transfer occurs. Barry verbally agrees to take over Sam's session. Barry then presses the configurable hotkey to enter team services. The default is Control X. He then presses F1 to place his device into the Accept Transfer mode. The next screen on Barry's device displays the Assigned Session identifier, in this case S0. Barry will now wait for Sam to send over his session. Sam will then press Control X to display Team Services. Sam then chooses F2 to transfer his session. This screen now shows available devices that are accepting session transfers. Sam then looks for Barry's unique identifier, in this case S0. In this example the choice is 0 shown in white. Sam then presses 0 on his device to send his session to Barry's device. Sam's device closes the session as Barry's device acquires Sam's session. The transfer is now complete. Sam is on a forklift that is equipped with a truck mount scanner. He can reach most of the inventory, but several items cannot be reached from the forklift. To increase Workflow efficiency, Sam can be issued a second mobile device or briefly borrow a device from a coworker. He can then join the second device to his existing truck mount session for seamless and continuous data entry. Sam can continue to use the, both devices in the same session or close the second session and return the device back to his coworker. Now let's see how the share occurs. Barry wants to borrow Sam's device. He will press the configurable hotkey Control X to enter team services. Next, Barry will choose F5 to enable his device to accept a shared session. This will assign the session a unique identifier, in this case S0. Now the session and device are waiting to be joined. The second device will join Team Services by pressing Control X and then F6 to display available sessions to be shared. Barry's originating session S0 is listed. The zero in white represents the button to be pressed to join the sessions together. Now both devices display the same session. Likewise, both devices can enter data into the same session. Sam's barcode scanner is not quite strong enough to reach the inventory on the top shelf. Barry's device, on the other hand, does not have this issue. In less than 60 seconds, with just a few keystrokes, Sam and Barry can switch devices while keeping their same session. Now let's see how the swap occurs. Sam and Barry need to swap devices. Sam presses Control X to enter team services. He then presses F3 to enter his device into the Accept Swap mode. The next screen displays the assigned session identifier, in this case S0. Barry will now press Control X to enter Teen Services. He then presses F4 to swap sessions. The screen shows the available devices that are accepting swaps. Barry then looks for Sam's unique identifier, in this case, S0. 
In this example, the choice is zero shown in white. Barry then presses zero on his device to swap sessions. Sam's device malfunctions while taking inventory, leaving his session in a suspended state. Through Team Services, Barry can recover Sam's session onto his device and complete the inventory. Now let's see how the recovery occurs. In this scenario, the batteries on Sam's device dies, putting his session into a suspended state. Barry can recover Sam's suspended session by pressing Control X on the mobile device to enable Team Services. Next, he presses F7 to view recoverable sessions. By choosing Sam's suspended session from the list, Barry's session will close and be replaced by Sam's session. Georgia Softworks Session Administrator Utility becomes even more powerful when used with Team Services. One impressive feature to Team Services is that team members can transfer, swap, share, and recover sessions without involving an IT manager, which greatly increases workflow. With Session Administrator Utility, the IT manager can monitor team members using the Team Services feature in real time. Administrators can monitor team members implementing and using team services by observing the team service column located on the far right. Team members that share two devices have the same unique numeric identifier that shows in the monitor column. With Session Administrator, you can view the details of each session. A few of these details are Unicode setting, TCP port number that is being used, and encryption level. Use the column sort tool to quickly locate and monitor users, devices, or team service members.